Namaste children. Happy New Year. Hope you all had lot of fun. Now let us enjoy learning English. Welcome to today's English class. Now look at this picture children. What is there on the table? Yes, there is a ball. Now first you imagine yourself as an ant and look at the ball. So how does the ball appear to appear to you when you are an ant or to an ant? How does the ball appear children? Yes, very good. To the ant the ball appears to be a huge thing. Now imagine yourself as a giraffe. Now look at the ball. How does the ball appear? Yes, the ball appears to be a very tiny thing to a giraffe. So why it is like that children? Yes, very good. The ball, the ball will appear different to giraffe and an ant because ant is so small and when it is looking at the ball, it appears to be very huge. And the tall giraffe from there when it is looking at the ball, it appears to be very small. So things appear different to different people. So the perspective is different. Now today we are going to discuss a poem that is the fly block 15 class 4 exceed English. The name of the poem is the fly. It is written by Walter D. La Mer. Okay. Now in this this poem tells us how the world appears to a fly. The poet wrote the poem from the perspective of a tiny fly. So now let us read this poem. Before we read the poem children, let us know about the poet. So this poet, who is this, this poet? Yes, he is Walter D. La Mer. So this poet is an English poet, short story writer and also novelist. He is best remembered for his works for children and also for his poems. Now, let us see the keywords. Now, see the first word, children? Yes, the first word is fierce. So, what does fierce mean? Fierce means dangerous. So, see the spelling? F-I-E-R-C-E, -E, fierce. Now, the second one, lamb, lambskin. So, what is this lambkins? So, lambkins refers to young lamb. Okay, lofty. What is this lofty? Lofty means high. Uh, a great height okay something which is of great height or great height okay next one is prickle so what is this prickle children p-r-i-c-k-l-e okay prickle prickle means a sharp pointed uh, object okay clear or a sharp pointed growth which you see on a rose plant so rose plant uh, for that you can on the stem you can see a uh, uh, see the thorns so they are sharp or uh, thorns okay now next one is feature feature means the character so what are the features of this so how does the two things uh, in what feature they are same or different okay for that say we use the word feature next one is perspective so p e r s p e c t i v e so what is this perspective children so perspective means it is the way you look Okay, or you see at something. Okay, next one is compare. So, comparing similarities or the differences. Now, the next one is similes. So, similes is a poetic device, children, which is used by poet to compare two things with a conjunction. So, what is the similes? So, similes, this is a poetic device which is used by poets to write in the poem. And they compare two things with the word conjunction. So what is this conjunction? What are those words like? Uh, like and as. So they use like and as to compare the things. Uh, uh, things that is called as a simile. Okay. Next one is unlike. Unlike means not similar or different from the other one. So that we say as unlike. Next one is shepherd. So you can see the man, the shepherd. Okay, he is rearing the animals. He is looking after the animals. Now, let we move on to the next slide. Yes. 
Now coming to the poem, I'll read the poem, children. All of you listen carefully and look into your book. How large unto the tiny fly must little things appear. A rose bird like a feather bed, its prickle like a spear, a dew drop like a looking glass, a hair like golden wire, the smallest grain of mustard seed, as fierce as coals of fire, a loaf of bread, a lofty hill, a wasp, a creole leopard, and specks of salt as bright to see, and lambkins to a shepherd. Okay, again I'll read the poem, children. You put the finger and you can even repeat after me or you read along with me. How large unto the tiny fly must little things appear. A rose bird like a feather bed, its prickle like a spear. A dew drop like a looking glass, a hair like golden wire. The smallest grain of mustard seed. As fierce as coals of fire, a loaf of bread, a lofty hill, a wasp, a creel leopard, and specks of salt as bright to see as lambkins to a shepherd. Now, we will discuss this poem, children. The fly. How large unto the tiny fly must little things appear. So now, here the poet has written the poem from the perspective of a of the tiny fly so how large unto the tiny fly so how large things appear to the fly tiny means very small must little things appear so how large how the things appear how how large the things appear to the fly okay must little things appear so little things they appear very huge or very big or very large to the fly a rose bird like a feather bed so rose bird it is compared to a feather bed so rose bird it appears to the fly like a feather bed it's prickle like a spear so prickle refers to the thorns or the sharp objects which uh, which grow on the rose plant okay so that is prickle so it's prickle like a spear so this prickle it appears it uh, it appears that prickle to this fly like a big like a spear spear you can see the picture there, there children it is used to kill the animals by hunters okay now the next one a dew drop like a looking glass you can see the dew drop on the leaf so how does the dew drop look it looks very clear isn't it so a dew drop like a looking glass to the fly dew drop it appears like a looking glass looking glass you can see the round one a magnifying glass with, which is used to see the tiny things they appear very big when you look through it a hair like golden wire so hair so how that hair is appear it appears to this fly like a golden wire golden wire you can see it is given the picture now the smallest grain of mustard seed so smallest grain down you have children all the mustards Mustard seeds are there. From that one grain is picked up. See on the fingertip it is there. So the smallest grain of mustard seed. So now this smallest grain of mustard seed. It is compared to as fierce as coals of fire. So uh, it is compared to the fierce of coals of fire. Fierce means dangerous. So to a dangerous coals of fire it is compared. Now the next one. A loaf of bread. A lofty hill. So loaf of bread is, what is this loaf of bread? You all know it. See the picture. So a loaf of bread, before it is cut, you can, uh, that is called a loaf of bread. So that loaf of bread, it appears like a lofty hill. Lofty hill means a high or a huge, of a great height. Okay, like that it appears to the fly. A wasp, a, a creole leopard. So wasp, you can see the picture there. Wasp, it appears like a leopard, very cruel leopard. See the leopard, how cruel it is. So wasp and the leopard, both are cruel children. So both, uh, they are compared in this way, so that both they kill the, uh, kill the prey and then they eat. So they are very cruel. Next, and specks of salt as bright to see 
as lambkins to a shepherd. So here speck, so specks of salt. So you can you can see the salt children there. So how that salt appears as bright to see. So that salt appears to be very bright. Okay, specks of salt. Speck refers to a small powdery piece of substance. So here small substance which you take it, that small substance, it appears to be very bright to see. And that is compared as lambkins to a shepherd. So this is compared as specks of salt is compared to compared to bright, very bright as lambkins to a shepherd. To the shepherd, see the shepherd who takes care of the sheep. So to that shepherd, how the lambskin, lambkin appears, how the lamb appears like that, this uh, speck of salt appears to be very bright. Is this clear children? So now again from this poem, we are going to uh, find out certain things. Okay, so here what are the things for the fly, for the tiny fly appear? Certain things they appear. So now first of all we will know about what does the poem describe. Okay, this poem describes the world which appears differently to the fly, isn't it? So here the poet has uh, used or he has described uh, the world or he has described the different things from the perspective of the fly okay so the poem describes how the world appears differently to a fly so and this poem has been written from the perspective of a tiny fly okay now what things does the poet imagine the fly to look at how will they appear to the fly Okay, so here the poet imagines that the fly might look at different things. So what are the different things this uh, fly looks? The fly looks at different things. So what are the different things first it is looking? See the third line. It looks at the rose bird. Okay, first it looks at the rose bird. Then next prickle it sees. Then dew drop. Yes, very good. Then a hair. Then loaf of bread then wasp okay so these are the things which the fly sees okay so what are the things which this fly looks at first one is rosebud it sees then prickle then dew drop then hair okay then uh, hair then loaf of bread wasp okay so these are the things which the fly looks okay and how does these things appear to the fly Okay, how does these things appear? So, how does the rosebud appear? Yes, very good. Rosebud appears like a feather bed. And prickle appears like a spear. Then a dew drop appears like a looking glass. Then hair like a golden wire. Then, then here next, what do you have children? Uh, hill. Okay, uh, hill. What is this? Uh, uh, loaf of bread like a lofty hill. Okay, then wasp. Wasp, it, is, uh, it appears uh, to this fly like a cruel leopard. Okay, so these are the things which the fly or when the fly looks at the things, how does those things appear to the fly? That is given. Now next coming to the, what will the poem describe if, uh, if it is written from the perspective of uh, giraffe? So now the poet has written the poem from the perspective of the fly. So if the poet has written the poem from the perspective of giraffe, then how does the things appear or how the poem uh, will describe? Yes, very good. The poem will describe how the things appear very small to a giraffe because this giraffe is very tall, isn't it children? So as the fly is very small, to this fly, all the things appear very huge or very big. Now, giraffe is very tall. So, to this tall giraffe, all these things, they appear very small or very tiny. Is this clear? Now, let us move on to the workbook, children. Open your workbook to page number 35, S1, the fly. Now, see the first one. What does the poem, the fly, describe? Tick the correct option. So here three options are there. You have to read those three options and you have to write the 
you have to take the correct option children the fly describes how the big things appear small to her is it right no very good the poet describes how the big things appear small to the fly no the poet describes how the small things appear big to the fly yes this is the right one so third one is the correct now see the next one second one which lines from the poem mean that a drop of water looks like a mirror to the fly so what uh, which li which words mean children so what is the question here once again i'll read which line from the poem mean that a drop of water looks like a mirror to a fly so which line yes very good a dew drop like a looking glass now the next one explain the meaning of these lines in your own words so what are the lines yes a loaf of bread a lofty hill a wasp a clear leopard so what does this two lines mean so a loaf of bread a loaf of bread appears to be a high hill to the fly okay then that is the meaning of the first line so a loaf of bread appears to be a high hill to the fly now a wasp a clear leopard so what is the meaning of this line so the wasp appears to be a clear leopard okay so here the poet compares the way the leopard the way a leopard kills animals to the wasp that kills and eats flies so here what is common in the wasp and the leopard that is their creality in killing their prey so that is common here now coming to the fourth one how would a book and a bottle appear to a fly explain in your own words so now to a fly how does this book appear and also how does a bottle appear so that you need to write so how you will write first one i'll tell you children book a book how you have to write is a book appears like a so to the fly how does it appear like a dash that you write complete that one now a bottle appears like a how does a bottle appear uh, to the fly that you write okay is this clear now we'll move on to the another part of the lesson children we'll go to the poem once again we we'll look at the poem children so in this particular poem we will know about certain other thing that is simile so we'll find out what is the similes are there in this particular poem okay so now here in this particular poem okay so what are the things that are compared in the poem okay certain things are compared so what are the things which are compared yes very good rose bed is compared to a feather bed prickle it is like a spear dew drop looking glass isn't it then hair golden wire then loaf of bread lofty hill okay so all these things are compared isn't it so now what kind of things do we compare okay and which words do we use to show comparison so when we compare two things it should have the same feature okay both the things should have a same feature in common for example look at this wasp and creel a wasp a creel leopard so here both this wasp this insect and a leopard this animal both this uh, have a certain thing in common or certain common feature is there that is they kill their prey very clearly they will kill their prey even though they have many other different things so many even though they have uh, different things in many ways one thing which is common is that this wasp it kills its prey and or the insect very clearly and also the leopard also kills okay that is common in thing now coming to certain thing like uh, take the word uh, prickle children prickle can you compare this prickle to a feather bed no there you can't compare okay because there is nothing common in this prickle and a 
feather bed. So you cannot compare. Okay. Now coming to uh, the other things. So here we have certain words which are used for comparison. Okay. A prick, it's prickle like a spear. So that prickle, the thorns, that sharp object, it is like a spear. So it is compared, isn't it? So certain words are used for comparison. So what are those words in the poem, children? Once again, you pause my video and read the poem and find out certain word is used to compare. So what is that word? Find out. Yes, I'll give you some time. Pause my video and find it out, children. Yes, I think you're all ready. Okay. Like and as. Very good. Like and as are used to show comparisons. So when we compare two unlike things. So rosebird and feather bed. Okay. So these two are unlike things. So we are comparing these two unlike things with a word or with a word like. Uh, with a word that is like. Okay. So when we compare two unlike things using like or as, then it is called as a simile. Okay. So what it is called children? Yes, it is called as simile. So what is simile? When we compare two unlike things using like or, uh, or as. So that is called as a simile. So these similes, where are these similes used? Yes, similes are used to make the poem or similar similes are used by the poet, poet to make the poem very interesting and also descriptive. And when you read the poem with that particular similes, it appears you can have you can have some images in your mind and you feel very much interested to read the poem. So if it, if, it, if there is no simile then then it when you are not uh, comparing it with any other thing then the poem doesn't look that much uh, descriptive or it won't be descriptive okay so these similes are used to make the poem more interesting and descriptive okay now for example children here a hair like a golden wire so you take that particular line okay so it helps us to imagine that uh, for the fly, how that hair appears. So, how that hair appears? Like a golden wire. So, that we are imagining in the in our mind. Isn't it? So, in the previous, uh, when I was explaining you the poem, I kept the picture of hair and the golden wire. So, you can imagine in your mind. It helps us to imagine. When similes are used like, like and as, it helps us to imagine the things. Okay. And now coming to uh, a question to you all children. We have read this particular poem, The Fly. This fly is written by whom? Walter G. La Mer. And previously, what is the other poem which we have read children? Yes, very good. Silver poem. So who has written the silver poem? Yes, very good. Walter D. La Mer. So both these poems are written by Walter D. La Mer. So in these two poems, what is similar? And what is different? What are the similarities and what are the differences? Shall we discuss that right now? Yes, very good. Now let us see the similarities. So similarities is both the poets or both the poems are written by Walter G. La Mer. Okay. Now coming to uh, the other things. What is What are the other things? What are the other similarities? Yes, the other similarities are both are descriptive. So both the poems, when you read them, you, you create certain image in your mind, isn't it? Okay, you can create some image in the mind. So both are, uh, in both the poems, poetic devices are used. Okay, in both the poems, poetic devices are used. So in a silver poem, so what is the poetic device? So how are you able to create images? So the moon is walking, huh? So that there, how, what are the, uh, how is that uh, uh, the moon is personified as in the moon is walking now. So in, in her silver shoe now. So here the moon, it is personified. Okay, the moon is personified there by using the word walking. It walks. And here in this fly, so what is the, what is the poetic device here? 
Yes, just now we have discussed what is it, children? Yes, very good. It is simile. So, simile is used in the fly poem and personification is used in the silver poem. So, both these are poetic devices. Okay, so these poetic devices are used by the poet to create certain image in our mind and also to make the poem very interesting and also very descriptive. Now, uh, based on this similes, you solve or you do S2 also children. Is this clear? Have you all, have, have you all understood children? Yes, so S1 we have completed and you do S2 also. Is this clear? Thank you children.